So, hello guys. In today's video, we're going to do now the second part of the CENTP Technologies Tutorials and Guide. So, this is the second part. We actually did the first one where we talked about what CENTP uh, Technology does. We created an account which, using the link that I provided in the description, will give you 14 days free trial and also we logged in into our account. So if you have not yet seen that video, kindly do so. I'll provide the link up uh, in the description and also in the card above. But in today's video, let's now go deep, let's now dive into the Centipede dashboard. Let's look at it, what it's made, how to customize it. That's on today's video. So let's get started. So this is how, when you log into your account, you normally have two SMSs balance. This one comes preloaded preloaded into your Centipede account. So this one is the one that will be used to send your client SMSs. So you normally have two SMS already preloaded. But this is where you see your total amount for that month and the total client. But for us, let's start first with this gear icon over here. So when you click on the gear icon, the first thing that appears is the two-factor authentication. So here, if I was to click on the two-factor, here is an option where now you can set a two-factor authentication for your account. So if you need to harden your security, if the username and password is not, is not will not work for you, you can harden your security by using two-factor authentication, which I highly recommend. So how do you set up two-factor authentication? So just click here to set up. So this one will need a, an, authentic, an authenticator app, either from iOS or Android. So if, let's say an example, if I was to click on Android, you can go on Google Play Store, download the auth Google Authenticator app. This is how it looks. And it will be providing you codes that you'll be filling here on the six digit part. So when that code is correct, now you'll be logged in into your account. The feature is also available for iOS. So if you need to download it for iOS, this is how the Google Authenticator for iOS looks. Just go download that app, then set it up with Centipede. When you download, just scan this one, then you'll be prompted this prompt, these some um, digits that's normally generated, just be uh, inputting these digits here and then you'll be logged into your account. That's if you want to harden the security of your account, which I highly recommend you do so. So apart from settings, uh, from the two-factor authentications, here is where you can change the theme of your dashboard. As you can see right now, I'm on the light theme. So if I was to change it back to dark theme, as you can see, it changes very well. As I said, Centipede has one of the best UI. So it changes across the board. So here it's on the settings section. We'll actually go on this deep dive section by section. But here is on the general settings. Here is where you can customize a few things on the dashboard. An example, you see this wave code demo. You can actually replace it with your own logo. So if I was to let me just come take a simple logo like this. You can just come and replace it with your logo over here. As you can see, the WaveCo logo has been uploaded. Then here is where you can change the name. So if you're not uploading a logo and you need to change this name, you can change it over here, as you can see over here. Now here is where you change what's known as the color palette of the, of the, of the system. So as let me just change it to a blue shade over here. And then here is where you can change the font. So let me just use like an Ubuntu font over here. There is Ubuntu. I've seen Ubuntu somewhere. Yeah. Let, I've changed it into Ubuntu. Then here you can change your customer support number. So which number do you need to be displayed for support for your account? So here is the customer support email. So I can just fill this one with my email over here. So this is the email the customer support email that I'm going to use. And here is the terms and condition section. So this one, you can just check on this. This one will prompt users first to accept your terms and condition now before accessing the internet. 
let me just click save changes for this so you can see the changes that have been applied then i refresh the site itself as you can see the logo was applied the system changed to a blue theme and also as you can see the font also changed so this is the section where now you can actually customize now your account that's where you see many people who use centipede every person has a, like a different theme uh, that they can play with so this is this is the section where now they normally play with so let's go to payment section this payment section i'll actually go over it i'll actually skip for this video but i'll go into this in a detailed uh, future video or also for the pppoe hotspot also i'll go uh, through this on a on a future detailed video sms gateway also and on 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 the notification section i'll also go over these in a future video so apart from the settings this is the billing and subscription you'll actually come here now here is where you actually get your invoice for that month or after the 14 days free trial that this is where you can get you'll actually see your invoice let's go to system users so here is where you can see all your users all your administrators and all the technical support in your account an example this one is an administrative user with codemo is an administrator in this is account a question that's normally asked a client needs to change his credentials or does not know the credentials to his account there's a simple process if you click on here there's a way here to view users as you can see here i can just put my name if i need but the username i can see my username to log into the account is this one and my password is this one the one that i actually auto generated you see this password this is how you can view it you can also view the admins phone number over there and email address and also if you need if you have sms you can send those credentials to the admin so it will actually send to this phone number and this email when i click send these credentials but you need to change now your account so you need to change the password here is a simple process just click paste here your new password over here so just a minute so just paste here your new password and confirm the password and then click on confirm that you will have changed the password Another process to change the password is to come under action, edit user, and here you can just change the password. But for this one, you will be prompted, edit user, for this one you will be prompted to set up your first name, last name. That's when this button over here will actually, when you click save changes, will actually now save now the account with the new password also for this one you can send the you can send an sms with the login credentials to the admin phone number here it's also the place where you can change the admin's phone number and also the admin's email address so that's on the system users let me just cancel then let's navigate to system and logs so here is where you keep track of the logs so if I was to come and create, let's say a user under the user section, that action will be logged on the system logs. So if you do, if let's say the, a technician was doing something with the system and you actually don't know what was done, you can come and check uh, the system logs and know what was actually done on your account. Let's go to features and bugs. So it will actually redirect you to the change log where you can where i actually showed this on the previous video the change log and also feedback so if you need to offer feedback or you have actually discovered a bug you can just come here and report it over here then our developing our developers our developers will actually see the issue and start working on a patch for you so apart from it there is an option for refer a friend actually don't recommend someone to use this one i'll actually provide on a feature video there's an affiliate 
program Centipede has. So if you need to refer a friend to use the Centipede billing system, this one will come on a later video, on a future video on their Centipede affiliate program. So you need equipment. You need to purchase equipment uh, for your ISP. Maybe you need a router. You can shop for equipment through the Centipede shop. This is the Centipede shop. Uh, just give it a minute to pick. So we have majority. We have majority of uh, the products from power stations to Microtix to Ruji. We have all of them, as you can see here. We have all of them. So you can just, if you need a quick equipment or you're just wanting to start, you can just come and purchase the equipment over here. Also, if you if you also need an equipment, you can just navigate to my site. All these links will be provided before wavecode.co.ke, which will actually bring you to the site where now you can order any equipment you need. Just if you need to order, just click here, order via WhatsApp, and I'll actually see your order on my end, and then I'll know what you're interested in. Like, as you can see here, hi, I'm interested in the high also. So I'll just see and I'll reach out to you, and then we'll organize on how I can ship the equipment to you. Every equipment purchased via Waveco that is above 20,000, I normally offer free shipping to that, to the equipment. So that's on the equipment. If you need to contact support, you can contact our support either via WhatsApp. You can click here to contact us via WhatsApp. Also, you can clock, you can call the number that is being displayed on the screen, as you can see right now. And you can also write an email to sales at centipedetechnologies.com. The email that is also being displayed on the screen as we speak. That's and also you can, if you need to sign out from your account, you have logged in into the account using a different computer, this is where you can do so. Now, that's on this gear icon. This gear icon has a lot to talk about. It had a lot. So on the next video now, now we'll start analyzing now this section, the dashboard section. As you can see, the blue theme is actually nice. I actually like even the blue theme on dark mode. Let me just try on light mode. It's actually a good theme. So now we'll start analyzing on this section, the user section, on the finance section, on the communication section, and on the devices section, which, what each section does. Then we'll now go on creating packages, creating users, creating, onboarding a microtech that will be coming on future videos. So guys, remember to subscribe. It actually takes a lot to build the, to actually make these videos for you guys so actually don't forget to subscribe share the channel sh share the video so that everyone out there will be educated on the centipede system till next time guys thank you